Hi, it's Karen from Scented Soaps by Karen, and I am finally bringing you down to my shop, part of my shop. Um, this is the part of my shop where I, um, this big huge table here that I don't know if you can see the whole thing, probably not. Um, that is where I end up making my products. Underneath it are, um, you know, my prepared products, my prepared um, items. In the next room, it's a mailing room, a packing room. Um, you know, it's the room I do my lip balm, my perfume, my candles. Um, so we keep everything over there. And, um, but anyway, as I'm running out of things, for example, as I just ran out of the uh, face moisturizer, I just sent an order out this morning for that. I always put the next one to go and then this afternoon I'll be making all of those. So anyway, welcome to my little shop. And I love it down here. Um, I'm able to um, get away from sort of everybody and everything and kind of begin to create. And that is where I, I, I kind of am that kind of person where I'm in the best place when I'm creating. So let's start. Um, I added two more Valentine's Day packages. The Valentine's Day packages that we had before, I have two of them left. And if you go on, you'll see the one with the lilac candle and the one with the perfume. One of each of those are left. I also have added this as a special from me. So, it will come in a box. This is my brand new lilac lotion and my updated lilac soap. And then I will be putting a lip balm in from me because that's my special gift for you, uh, to you, and a little heart. Now listen, I sell the, the lotion for $22. Um, the soap is between $8 and $10, depending on how much the oils are and whatever. So, and the lip balm is, is $8. So the whole package is $28. So if this is $22 and this is $10 and then the lip balm is $8, I'm giving you the lip balm and you're getting actually a couple dollars or actually $4 off of the main price. This is probably the way to buy it, but if you don't want it that way, no worries. What I did this morning, is I put all the soaps onto my site. I put all of the lotions separated so that you could do it that way as well. The other Valentine's Day package that I'm, there's three more that I'm offering. It's gonna be with my brand new lavender and lemon soap. Will be in a box. My brand new lavender and chamomile lotion, a lip balm, and that will be all boxed up together. And last but not least, my Georgia Peach. Um, I have a friend, Diane Pagano. Uh, I haven't seen her in such a long time. And about nine years ago, I named a lotion after her. <clears throat> and that's when I had storybook soaps and lotions. And now it's just scented soaps by Karen. But anyway, Georgia Peach. It's now available, which was, like I said, named after her. And the lilac was named after Peggy Bergeron, or Peggy Escobar Bergeron, or Peggy Bergeron Escobar. Sorry, Peggy. And then the Georgia Peach soap with the Georgia Peach lotion and the lip balm will all go into a box with a ribbon. So that's, that's, how, that's how I'm gonna do the last three. These are the colors um, for those that really wanted to look closely. These will be the new tins, the same silver tin, but I have this color coming too with more candles. I um, did make a bunch more of, the, I did make so many more candles, but I have, again, one of the um, peppermint and coffee, which I cannot keep it in shop, obviously. Also, the size of my lotion. Is this not enormous or what? I don't know how, I can't go any larger than this. I really, I mean, af after that, I'll have to, you know, use pumps. This is the aloe vera lotion, which sells, I sell a ton of. This is 11 ounces, the one that we used to have. So I upgraded it to this bottle because everybody wanted more. And now it's this bottle. Before it was a smaller bottle. I don't know what I do with it. But anyway, so that's my new um, lotion there in this size bottle. I'm trying to get it online as fast as I can. I think I have most of them online. I'm gonna go over um, elderflower. Yes, I have more elderflower. I made more elderflower soap, so that's available. The pineapple soap is available. I try to make sure every single spring soap is available. Patchouli is back in, named after my girlfriend, Adrienne. I have the um, peppermint um, pumice, or it's not pumice, peppermint soap for your feet. 
And this has, um, you know, this stuff in it. Himalayan pink salt. The mind. I need to write stuff down. So that's that. I want to go through these really fast. I have more of the blueberry and fig soap, which is something they sell and is named after this as something special in Lincoln, their gift shop. I sell it to them. I have more Mashney soap, which is pina colada. I have more of the rosemary and apple. Karen's kitchen soap, which is a favorite of so many of yours. It is, it's great. So what this will do, not only will it take carrot stains off, it will take take the smell of, um, you know, um, onions or garlic off your hands. It takes off permanent marker. I mean, it really does, and it won't hurt you. I mean, it won't scratch you to the point where you're, you know, you wish you hadn't used it. Some of these newer soaps, oh, and then, then uh, I call it my Ann Johnson soap, which is just my lavender with chamomile and a little bit of tea tree oil. That tea tree oil is what makes it Ann. I have my rose, and all of this you can look at really closely online. I made sure I did this before I came down and, and um, came on live. My strawberry cream smells amazing. If you love strawberries, you love the scent. This is great for a kid's soap as well. My kumquat and current red currant soap, it smells just like a lot of berries and a little bit of floral. It smells amazing. My black raspberry with a splash of vanilla, and I mean a splash. I literally will throw, you know, just here's a splash, you know, when I'm making it, and then I write the recipe down. This smells amazing. Obviously, I say that about all my soaps. I have made a few that were pretty stinky. And, you know, I kind of had to just do away with them. I thought, you know, what the heck was I thinking? So, I mean, in 10 years, I've, I've done, yeah, you know, I've had some really, some, I've put some um, combinations together that were not, were not right. This used to be called um, Pearl's Peony Pearl um, um, is, and well, my was my grandmother, or she is, I don't know how I should say that. She lived until she was 101. I'm just switching it up a bit, um, and I'm going to be calling this one um, just uh, Springtime Peony. And I love this one. Because for those of you that want glycerin and you want the shea, there you go. So it's springtime peony. So that's so that's sort of it because you have to get ready now. Um, according to one of the coaches that I or a coach that I took a class with, you sort of have to get your spring line in now. And before I know it, I'm going to be putting everything, um, you know, on discount again because I do not like to just see it go to waste. I want to make sure everybody gets what they need um, all the time. Um, anything that you see over here, like the lip balm, I am totally stocked in. I've made all the lip balm here. I'll be making more. I'm out of the, um, eczema lotion, but that is something I'll be making today. When anything seems, when anything is empty, I start making it. I have, um, plenty of the Himalayan pink sea salt. I have that with the lavender. And then I have face masks already with the brushes to go. I have my detangler for your hair and the leave-in conditioner. I have all sorts of other soaps that I haven't mentioned all ready to go. Lots of lotion ready to go out the door. Soy wax melts, which the scent is Christmas Farm Inn and Spa. I also have the Christmas um, Farm Inn and Spa lotion that I make all year long, um, your request. So of course, I always listen to you. This is amazing as well. I think you'd like that. And I just made more of the scar and blemish medicine, or I call it medicine cream. Let's see if you can see that over there. So it has the, um, the, um, Cocoa butter cream, tea tree oil, cocoa oil, uh, coconut oil. I'm going to read it right off here. Rose oil, grapefruit oil, rose hip, vitamin E, shea, and aloe. There's so much stuff in here. But this is being used on my aunt who had radiation treatments. Um, it's being used on um, somebody else that said that they were using it for um, a friend who had severe issues with their skin. And it worked. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is something that I, my daughter used it actually on my, one of my grandsons and when he had that baby acne and this worked on that as well. So it's very gentle. So you can try that if you want. Hi, Denise. How are you? What's it doing out there? I think I'd rather be where you are right now than where I am. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so I have lots of that. And um, let me see, is there anything else? Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. So um, I, I got some... Um, well, of course, I sell hand sanitizer, and I have more for the children, too. It's, like, here. It's over here. I have more hand sanitizer for the children. And um, I just kind of do one flavor now, bubble gum. And um, it's 80%. It has 80% alcohol. But what I am going to do now, they're going to be small, small bottles about this size, and I might 
go with this size as well. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to do the spray hand sanitizer. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit. Um, it already, I already have it purchased with 80% alcohol in it. I'm not making this up myself. I'm, when it comes to the, um, hand sanitizer, I purchase it from a company in California. They send it to me and I know, you know, that it was made in their vats right there. I know exactly what it, what's in it. So I can't make this up myself. I wouldn't make a hand sanitizer. I wasn't, wouldn't be sure if it would work. Um, the vitamin E, um, I add to it and I add a little bit of a pink grapefruit scent, which is really nice because so, we're using it all the time, but it's a sprayable and it's going to be available next week. So this will be available next week. I'm not sure about this one. Definitely in the small blue ones. And that's about it for there. Um, I have bug spray. I know it's too early. There aren't any bugs. I know there's snowmen outside, but I still have to make all the bug spray now. Bug spray is natural um, for all for those of you that have purchased it from me and for those of you that are purchasing in the Florida area and all over the place. Just so you know, I have a pl I have plenty of it if you want to order ahead of time. It's called My Everything Nice and has everything nice in it. It smells amazing and it really does work. And I've been using it for nine years and your best bet would be to go on to my testimonials. I have video testimonials from people and I also have um, testimonials that are, are written. Also, I have my... Um, my, um, I don't know what I call it, my hydrating mist. I know I have too many things, right? Not really, because I love to have all these things because you ask. So I have my hydrating mist, which is amazing. It has coffee in it. I keep it in the refrigerator. Spray it on your face if you get hot. It's really great for those people that are going through, you know, stuff. So there's that. And I think that's about it. I wanted to mostly jump on to say, uh, as I'm in my 10th year, <clears throat> I don't think I could have loved it any more than I do now. I love the people I've come in contact with. I love the people that have taught me some things that I had no idea about when it comes to running a business. I absolutely think that you have been amazing to me um, over this past year, and I couldn't thank you enough. Well, I am going to thank you, and that's why I'm sending all of you, or many of you, free gifts. Um, and I do send a free gift with every order, as you know. So I can't thank you enough. And I wish everybody um, a great day and go to small businesses. We love you. And we always are giving discounts because, you know, we, we take such pride in what we make and what we do that we want to make sure that we can, you know, not get rid of it. I, I do donate some of it, but, you know, some places aren't taking donations now. So just make sure you let us know if you um, need us for anything. And I'm sure if you send us a message, all of us will be able to get back to you and, um, you know, make sure that we do exactly what you need. So anyway, bigger bottles. These are amazing. The It's bridal bouquet. No, boutique. I think I'm going to have to try change it to bouquet. And um, there's going to be the bridal bouquet, um, which I, I just changed it just then and there. That's coming up. Um, actually, I have some left. I'll just come real close. It's right here. Hello, everybody. Good mor Good afternoon, I think. This is my double rings. This smells, it's florally, it, real, real florally. You, you would love this, I think. I have two of my Valentine's Day um, jasmine soaps left. They come in little um, bags. I have two. So those are left. And um, this is left. This did not sell in my sale. This is the uh, three of these for 15. So this package is 15. So that's about it for today. Thank you so much for visiting. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm going to be making all kinds of things a little bit later on. Don't forget that I wrap everything that I send to you. It's either in a white box with all kinds of really pretty uh, kind of this raffia paper in the bottom of it. And then I wrap it with a pink bow and I have gold and whatever because presentation I think is everything um, that you could imagine. Candles will be out um, next week. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And I can see some of you, but it's so far away right now. I can't see all of you. Have a good one. Bye.